Ten English phrases for facial expressions from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, she was beaming. Beaming means the person has a big smile. It means they are extremely happy. Number two, the kids were smiling from ear to ear. Smiling from ear to ear is another expression to describe a big smile. Number three. He looked puzzled. The word puzzled means a little bit confused. Number four. She grinned. To grin is to smile. However, a smile is always happy. Whereas a grin can be used with other emotions, like a sheepish grin when the person is embarrassed, or an evil grin when the person is malicious or mischievous. Number five. She winced when the doctor gave her an injection. To wince is to get a quick expression of pain on your face. You can wince because of physical pain, as in this example of receiving an injection, or emotional pain or embarrassment. For example, I winced when my son asked a fat woman if she was pregnant. Number six. She gave me a dirty look. A dirty look isn't something offensive. It is looking at the person in an angry way. Other ways to say this include: She glared at me. She glowered at me. She looked daggers at me. Number seven. My son pouted when I made him turn off the video game. To pout is to put your lips out to show that you are annoyed or unhappy about the situation. You can also say a person was pouting if they spent a period of time being unhappy or resentful about something. Number eight. After working on the computer for ten hours straight, his eyes were glazed over. If your eyes are glazed over, it means that they are unfocused, as if you weren't seeing anything. People's eyes often glaze over after looking at a screen for a long time, as in the example, after drinking too much alcohol, or when they are extremely bored. Number nine. Why the long face? You can ask this question to somebody who appears unhappy. It is a playful way to ask them why they are not happy. Number ten, her expression was unreadable. Use this phrase when the person's face is neutral and doesn't reveal what they are thinking or what emotion they are feeling. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.